day to all our viewers out there. I am Heinrich Nietling and welcome to Mathematical Literacy. In today's lesson, we will be looking at finance, in particular financial documents. The aim of this lesson is to apply and also to practice. All right, so please make sure you have your calculator, your workbook, pencil ready. Okay, so let's get the show on the go. Okay, so as I've said, we're gonna do some practice sums. So let us quickly look at the first scenario. So the first thing up is till slips, okay? So question number one says, which number would you dial if you wanted to call the store? Please make sure you get familiar first with what you have in front of you. So if I look at the toll slip, I see here that there's a telephone number and there's a cell phone number just below that. You want to call the store, so therefore you're gonna call the landline, right? So therefore, the number here will be 021-864-3766. Okay, so that is if you want to call the store. Second question. What is the date that you went to this outlet? So if I look, the date is indicated here, that 18 October 2022. So I'm going to indicate that as 18 October 2022. Right, straightforward questions. Level 1, make sure you get that correct. Now moving on, we are still busy with toll slips. I'm looking at question number 3. It says, what was the total bill for your purchase? Right, so if I look, we bought a few items here. Now, if I look at this point here, it says cash 100. Okay, so that is what you've paid. But now it says the payment 98.49 cents. So therefore, right, so the total bill will then be 98 rand and 49 cents. It simply means that you had to pay 98 rand 49 cents and you gave them 100 rand. Okay, and then question number four, calculate the change due, right? So here we can see how much you must now get back. So therefore I'm going to say 100 rand, what you've tended, what you gave to them, minus what you owed them, the 98 rand and 49 cents. So let's quickly type that in. You gave them 100 rand minus the 98 rand and 49 cents. So you should now get back 1 rand and 51 cents. But let's quickly pause here for a second. Remember, one cents are no longer in circulation. Now, two cents, five cents for that matter. So therefore, you will have to get back one rand and 50 cents. All right, I hope that is clear to all of you. Let's move on. The next item we're gonna look at is pay slips. Okay, so it says, question number one. Determine the employee's overtime rate, okay? After getting familiar, here we can clearly see overtime is being paid at times and a half, okay? Overtime hours is nine overtime hours, and for the current month, it got paid 5,250 rand. So we want to know what is the rate, okay, per hour. So what will happen now? You take your 5,250, and you divide it by the amount of hours worked. So 5,250 divided by nine, so this person will earn per hour, X, that's overtime, right? 583 rand, and I'm going to round off again to two decimal places, and 33 cents. So you take the total, 5,250 divided by 9 equals to 583 rand and 33 cents per hour. Then question number two, total the employee's allowance right, for the month. So what are is allowances? So if I look here, okay, cell phone allowance, travel and accommodation allowance, and petrol allowance. So what is our job? We need to total it. So therefore I'll say 550 plus 1,200 plus the 750, and that's all rent, right? So it's 550 plus 1,200 plus 750, so that amounts to 2,500 rand. So it's 2,500 rand in allowances. Okay, guess that's clear. Question number three. Calculate the UIF contribution if it is calculated at 1% of the gross income. 
And if I look, what is our gross income? Yeah, I indicated gross income. That's 31,500 rand. So of all, first I'm going to say 1% of 31,500 rand equals, so let's type that in, 1%, so 1 over 100, multiplied by 31,500, that equals to 315. But now I want you to listen to me carefully. Since last year, 1st July 2021, they decided to make the ceiling amount. So what's the ceiling amount? Meaning they can't deduct more than that for UIF. They limit it to 177 rand and 12 cents. Remember that the 177 rand and 12 cents is the ceiling amount for your UIF contribution. Now let's quickly move on to question number four. It says determine the net pay, right? So how do we determine net pay? Net pay, let me write it down, your net income equals your gross income minus your deductions. All right, so minus deductions. Okay, so let's look at what we have. There we have our gross income of 31,500. We have pay as you earn, 8,960, but let me quickly do that. So it is 31,500 net income minus 8,960 rand. But please note, you must also subtract your 177 rand and 12 cents towards UIF. So therefore, 31,500 minus 8,960 minus 177 rand and 12 cents. That should give you an amount of 22,362 rand and 88 cents. So I'm going to repeat, that gives you 22,362 rand and 88 cents. All right, guys, I hope that's clear. Let's move on now to travel allowance. I'm saying here, Mrs. Alice is, a, is working for LA Consulting Engineers and uses a car for work-related purposes. The value of a car is 798,999 rand. She travels approximately 30,000 kilometers per year. Use the SARS running cost table below to calculate Mrs. Alice's monthly travel allowance. Okay, so let's quickly look what is applicable here. Remember, that amount will definitely be here. So what is the fixed cost? Fixed cost per annum will be 145,900 rand. Now I'm looking at the fuel cost. Fuel cost, 134,4 cents per kilometer. So I'll take 134,4 multiply by the 30,000 kilometers it travels per annum. So 134.4 multiplied by 30,000 equals. So that gives you 4 million and 32,000, and this is cents, right? So I divide this by 100 to get my value in rands. So therefore, this will be 40,320 rand towards your fuel. Then our maintenance, that is 85,3 cents per kilometer. Again, I take the 85,3, I multiply that by the total kilometers it travels per annum. So 85.3 multiplied by 30,000. That will give you 2,559,000. That amount I'll divide by 100 to get the rand value, divide by 100. So all in all, for the maintenance cost, it will come to 25,590 rand. So what is the total annual running cost? You take your fixed cost, 145,900 rand, plus your fuel cost, 40,320 rand, plus your maintenance cost of 25,590. So what will that give us? I'm going to add all of that, key it in on my calculator. So that should give you 200 and 11,810 rand per year. So therefore, to get the monthly travel allowance, you take 211,810, you divide that 
by 12 months, okay? So divided by 12. So travel allowance for the year is 17,650 rand and 83 cents rounded, okay? Then lastly, let's quickly look at the practice of um, invoices. Question number one, determine the unit price of the AMD Athlon Jet 5. Unit means one. So that's the one I refer to. So there the quantity is 10 and the amount is 23,700. So here we'll simply say 23,700 divided by 10. Okay, 23,700 divided by 10 equals, so that unit price here, 2,370. Then question number two, calculate the cost of shipping. If it is calculated using the following formula, cost equal 7% of the subtotal plus 1,950. So first of all, I take the 7%, right? So that's 7% of the subtotal, there is our subtotal, multiply by 39,200, and then I must still add the 1,950. So let's simplify first, seven over 100, multiply by 39,200 equals. So if I simplify this, I'll get 2,744 rand plus now 1,950. That should give you an amount of 4,694 rand. I hope all in all is clear. Guys, let's take a quick break. After the break, we'll do some application sums. I'll see you now.